So this is a quick demo of how you create a dependent list of values in an application. We're going to start actually by creating a um, data model and we're using ADF business component, connecting to the normal HR schema and we're going to actually use the location table as well as the countries table. Okay, um, Just like that. So the countries table basically gives us a list of value of uh, countries that we can use in the location field, right? Um, so if we actually go to the location view, we can see that we have the country ID. And let's define a list of value for this one. Um, simply add the countries view, click OK, choose the field that connects the two, and choose the field that you actually want to show in your list of value. Right, so that's a simple list of value. Now let's get a little bit more complex list of value. This time we're going to do it this way. We're going to define a new view object and we're going to call it the states list of value. Okay, it's going to be based on a SQL query. And we'll pop up the query builder. And we're actually going to pick it up from locations. Um, what we're interested in is the state province field. So here's our query, I'm going to add a distinct clause here and we're going to restrict this list uh, based on the country ID. So we're country ID equal, call it P country. Okay, so based on parameter we're going to restrict which um, states we're going to see. Alright, we need to define the variable. And um, that's basically it here. <coughs> now we're going back to the locations. And for the state province, we're going to define a new list of value. Okay, And this list of value is going to come from the state's list of value that we just defined. Okay, Now because we have a parameter here, we need to click the edit field. And we need to provide a value for this thing. Right? And we're simply going to tell it to pick it up from the country ID field. So this is the field in the view object. And based on the current row and the value of this field in the current row, we're going to show the specific states in this country. OK, so we added the list of value. We defined the field that connects the two and the field that we actually want to show. OK, save everything. And at this stage, you can actually run the application and see um, how it works. Okay, so when we're looking at the location, we can see that currently the state doesn't have anything. If we switch, for example, to choose the United States, the list shows states from the United States, United Kingdom, states from United Kingdom. So this is cool, this is in a swing UI. Let's show you how to actually use it in a JSF page. So let's open a page. And we're going to simply drag the location over as a form that will allow us to update or insert data. Like that. Now what you see is that automatically the two fields for country ID and for state are um, presented as lists of values and that's because we did the definition of the list of value in the model layer. What we're going to do next is actually rearrange those so actually move one before the other like that. What we need to do is tell this field, right, first field, you're going to automatically submit, okay, auto submit. And then the second field, what you need to tell it is that it has a partial trigger dependency, basically telling it you depend on this list. And then you just run the page. Okay, so let's switch over to, um, for example, Germany. And the list now contains Bavaria. Let's switch over the list to show United Kingdom. List shows another set of states and United States another set of states. 